Hello again. Um, two variations on the same theme. Both the German model 1898 O5 pattern World War One bayonet. Um, one has a steel scabbard. One has a steel mounted leather scabbard. To all intents and purposes, both look the same. <clears throat> Often called the butcher bayonet, nothing to do with fighting in the trenches in World War One. The term butcher bayonet was given to it by the British who saw them. And when they saw the shape of it, it looked like something used on the British civilian commercial market in the local butcher shops as a cutting implement. Hence, it got the name Butcher Bayonet. Originally, when they came out, they had a serrated top and were called a Pioneer Bayonet. And this sawback top was intended to give the Pioneer a chance to cut away undergrowth so they could sight a machine gun properly or things like that. But when the Geneva Convention people saw that, they went, well, you know, in the battlefields, you can, you can blow people up, you can shoot them, you can gas them, you can poison them, you can, you know, stick a one foot long bayonet through them. But uh -uh, not with that edge on. You've got to give them a sporting chance. So all the nasty things you can do to somebody on the World War I battlefield, you can't stick one of them in somebody, said the Geneva Convention. So we're going to make that illegal. So what did the Germans do? They went all right. And they removed the serrated top. So that's what originally came out. And that's what happened to them after the Geneva Convention complained that it was an unsporting thing to do to an opponent. Because obviously when you stick that in somebody, those serrations make the wound more nasty around the edges and it's quite hard to patch up but yeah that's that's the end that gave it the name or well, the allies gave it the name butcher bayonet these two are some relics from the 1990s steel with wooden grips that's got its push button still in place that one has got a sole maker's name on it can't make it out. That one has been repainted black at some time and it has a crown on it so I reckon the maker name under the crown will be Erfurt, something like that. Wooden grips, one broken, it's missing its locking mechanism and it's been resharpened at one point. It'll never be rare, there's numerous variants of it. Like I said that one's got a steel mounted leather scabbard the bayonet can go in either way this one has got a steel scabbard but the bayonet can only go in one way so that's where the top goes in that's where the blade goes in but in this one it's universal it can go in either or whichever way around and this one has got the loose top to it and if I turn it like that you can see the locking mechanism the keeper that it, it, it kind of pinches the blade and it stops the bayonet from dropping out of the scabbard and that one is a just a sum relic non back. that one's the back or pioneer model um, recovered from a shed Mali Mali on the sum March 1997 so yeah two variations of a theme Never be rare, the so-called German butcher bayonet or the sawback, non-sawback Pioneer model 1898-05 bayonet. Something to keep an eye out for. It's nice to have the two different types, the one that came out and the one that replaced it. Bye for now.